evening, this is Markel Logan, and welcome to part one of the Chasing Dallas season four reunion. It is time to get into all things with the cast of season four. Get ready for a night of drama. You're not a bitch to sit and talk about. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna bust shit. I'm busting that on your man's face, bitch. Emotions. Felt like you're here alone. Why do you feel like that? Full of receipts. Okay, so this is conversation between you and Telly. And the question we've all been waiting for. Trey, you say that they kissed. What's the little something? Plus, an exclusive performance by Miss Only Barbie Banks. I heard y'all was looking for the baddie. I'm here now, so what's up? Are you ready? Well, let's die right on it. What's up, everybody? My name is Markel. I am the EP and your reunion host tonight. Of course, as you know, being the EP, I know everything that's going on behind the scenes. So tonight, we are getting down to the bottom of everything. And this is the reunion. But we chase some reality. Me and my bitches, we killing them. From Dallas to Georgia, we eating them. One thing was forgotten. This bitch is a baddie. I crush anything that I'm on. Bitch, a little baddie. 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 All right, so Trey, this is your first time on the couch. Yeah, it is. How does it feel? It feels. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. You look good. Thank you. I feel oh. good. Robert, you're looking good. Appreciate this you. Your appreciate this is your first reunion. This is. It's not virtual reunion. no more. It's not. You know, How so does I'm it feel? Person, <laughs> person. I mean, it's a, it's clear. It's a vibe. I'm ready to, you know. You ready to do what? Up. Okay. Up. Fashion blog with no fashions. What's up, Keyshawn? I am doing well today. <laughs> What's up, Markel? How do you feel? I feel regal, rich, like my outfit. Like your outfit, yes. was it personally picked out for you? It was custom designed, made uh, just for me. Oh, you got a little coin. Just for me, yes. DeAndre, where you been? You know, away from these hoes and hoes angels. Okay, we're starting off with that en energy tonight. Well, good, it's really good to see you. And hopefully tonight we can get down to the bottom of everything. Of course, I apologize. I didn't hand make my outfit like that couch, but I'm here, so that's it. <laughs> you look like one. <laughs> you look like Missy Elliott in the You Can't Stand the Rain. I would shut the fuck up if I was you. Dior, oh the father of many kids. How you doing? I'm okay. How's managing artists? Great. Okay. Is there anything we can expect coming up new? Um, yes. A lot. But I can't speak on it right now because it's in the works. Okay. Casey, the EP is out. You're signed out. Congratulations. Congratulations. And how does it feel to finally see everything come out? Like your videos is out, EP is out. How does it feel? It feels different, but I love it. Like it's, I don't know, I feel like I'm actually getting shit done and I'm actually stepping into my artistry, so. We can respect that. Okay. Tedley. What number man are we on today? Only one. Only one? Yes. Are, really? Are we gonna... <laughs> now what Instagram said. Now, now, now Jet, now you know I can give you one of my recycle ones. Ooh. I, I don't want to go through a divorce. Oh. Well, you know, I can give you some advice. Let's see how long this one lasts. Oh. All right, we'll see. Keep, keep watching your fans. George. What's up, baby? Welcome back to Dallas. Welcome back. It's good to be here. Thank you, thank you. Can, can we expect you to be back home more often now? I mean, you know, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see where the bodies may lay. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound too right. Well, <laughs> where the bodies may we lay. We all know what I do, so. Uh -huh. Yes, we do. Bro. Yeah. Londy. What's up? I heard through the grapevine you got a lot to say tonight. I do. Are the people here who you need to speak to? Absolutely. Are they aware? They will be. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, the Peruvian princess. Hi, Markel. Yeah. Am I giving Nikki? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look good. Thank it's you. It's very Met Gala. Thank you. You look good too. Well, you know, custom. Okay. Astro, 
Hi. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. Do you still spell community with an R? Community, yes. Okay. Community. I just wanted to make M sure. M-U-R-I-Z-K. I just definitely wanted to make sure. Kiki, you're not here. Uh, she's coming. She's coming. She's coming. Okay. She's little... Looks like she's late, you guys, but she'll be here soon. Oh my God. She's coming. Well, listen, what do you expect that I'm going to host this? So listen, when is the last time we all been in the same room? Child, um, mm. uh, four score right? seven years ago. Uh, my music video. So hopefully tonight we can talk about a few things, get things off our chest. This is maybe your first and last reunion. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Ooh. So you guys need to say what you guys need to say because this, this may be it. You just never know. You never know. From sprayed on hairlines to you can't keep friends, our man. George and Tetley's friendship comes to an unsettling reading match that ends up with a toodles. Let's take a look. Hey, what's up, everyone? I am Tedley. I have been here in Dallas for about five years. I'm heavily been. That's how September to remember. Yeah, say that, but I'll definitely check you out. Yeah, I'm interested in supporting him, but I'm just not really interested in any foolishness that may happen. Hey, what's up, guys? It is me, George. Listen, I decided to move to Atlanta. I'm going back to Dallas for my y'all, my event. He want me to host the red carpet. You got a minute? And then here comes Goldust in one of his meetings. I thought y'all were supposed to be like good friends or something. But right now, I'm kind of questioning that. But what I do know is I'm not entertaining no foolishness. It was brought to my attention that you blocked me or removed me or something temporarily. Don't turn to a rot peach. But guess what? Okay. Loves it. Good night. Let's play, Miss Filterfish. When you came, it seemed like I felt like you didn't speak too tenderly. You know tenderly, right? Would you like a drink, a shot? I'm too old to be kissing anybody ass to see what the problem is, especially when we're all grown ass men. The only reason we you're on this show is because I left. Go work on your work hair, you. work, work on your makeup, you. work on your eyebrows. People really show their true colors when they get in front of a camera or they've been on a certain platform too damn long. Where the fuck was all that when I was on the phone with you at one and two o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Bitch, you no, are no, no, not no. that girl. I was a friend to that This kid. bitch is still standing here. He'd rather go to hell and dish with the devil than to continue to play in my face. I don't see you, I don't smell you. I don't miss the friendship. I'm at peace, y'all. I'm tired of hearing all these lies and stand up on the phone two or three o'clock in the morning. I'm never finna argue with a bitch who got their edge glued down. Goodbye. Toodles. I'm completely done with George. I mean, I can be in the same room as him at this point or the next time I see him and not be bothered. I mean, we're two grown men at the end of the day. We need to act like it. Uh, that was a lot. That was a lot. A lot that I really didn't want to do. Now, Tilly, all season long, everybody has something to say about your eyebrows and your hair. Tell us, what do you do to look this good? <laughs> you know, when I get my hair cut, I do a little fiber. Okay. That's that. And my eyebrows, I mean, I get them waxed. That's that. You see that today. And that's okay. it. I mean, the camera exudes a little bit more than that, I'm sure, as everybody know. Mm -hmm. But I no mean, accurate. I'm here. We're not talking to you that right one now. That still higher but than the However, other one. anywho, we're, wait yeah. your turn, honey. You, you were here now, but you had opportunity Maybe to Maybe I left. In. That's you, a yeah, you left. You were now dying to be in front of the camera and I left. And they wanted me back. Total. Fix your nails so coming anyway, off the glove. Next. Uh, what? We'll go ahead with your question. But you look like you got bad Botox. Get the fuck out of question, here. Oh, next so question, Tamika. She's doing her green screen. Right, right like, we're just <laughs> doing for you. Like, what's going on? <laughs> so listen, so in the comments, did it ever affect you when people was making those comments about your Absolutely eyebrows? Absolutely not. You know, you're going to have people who support you, who right. talk down on you, and who support, you know, <laughs> it, it is what it is. That's the part of this platform. So, it, you know, I don't really give a shit about what people say. So here's the thing. I know George and Tetley both personally, right? Mm -hmm. And I watched the show and I filmed and I saw you guys' green screens and somebody's not being honest. So does anybody want to take the floor on what really happened to the friendship? It's in an urn. I agree. It's in an urn? It's in an urn. How did it get in an urn? I, I really don't give a, I really don't care. I've never cared. And to be clear, that scene, um, I didn't even want to do it with him because I knew where it was going to go. And I'm not here to help nobody uh, become a name. Uh, you do that on your own. Let me just clear this up. He clear put it. this narrative out here as if I'm on this platform because of him. You are. No, you're not. We're not talking to you. You um, are. You anywho, can pull it with him, but like you can't I pull said, it when you find Like I said, say. I went through the audition process like everyone else did. Congratulations. Right? I, I'm here, and I'm not going anywhere as of right now. Mm. Okay? And so 
George, you put this narrative out there as if I'm here because of you. That's so false. That's not the question. And you know, you have a... That's you, not you, no, the question. No, no, no. That's not you the question. You want to be a yes, mean yes. girl so bad. I want to be who? You want to be a mean girl so bad. You think that's what it is? Something's lacking in your childhood where you're oh, missing girl. it or you, something. You really Something's watch not season right after you season. Because no, you are. You want to be a mean girl. You know you were a fan. Now you're a cast member. And it's clear that you were a fan because you clearly talk about things from season after season. No, you brought my name up and my eyebrows and everything else on every scene. You came out there trying to be clear. Every scene. Are we going to over talk every other week? We're going to have a conversation. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. I'm not going to do that with you. You know you're sleepy out. I'm not doing it. Okay, well, cool. Cool. Yeah. Let so wear your glasses. Let it be. We're not. Wear your glasses. We're not, so we're not friends. Taylor. 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 Hold on. Let let it be. Be. Wait a minute. Let let it be. Be. George, I got a question. During the season, you mentioned that Taylor was moving differently, and that's when you started to change your surroundings. Why didn't you pull Taylor to the side personally and let him know he was moving differently? Why should I? I'm 35 years old. I'm way too old to be trying to tell a friend how to be a friend. Taylor uh, knows. Wake me up when Taylor you done knows. Talk, Ken. Oh, girl, that's the that's your prop. That's the best you could do. Is that the best you can Wake do? Wake me up when this is done. Is that the best you can do? Well, we are here for a reunion, so he asked the question. I know this is your first time, and maybe you'll get a second time, maybe, because you were actually, to be honest, bitch, you were a snooze fest. You're not like selling this emoji, houses. Like this you emoji. have a different man every like this day. Emoji. Uh -huh, every day you have uh -huh. a different man, bitch. Your Thanks style for is not styling. Thanks for following me. Everything that I do. I don't follow you. Yeah. Okay. Well, you. Talk I follow about your me. man. Follow so, me on well, social media. So that's how I knew no, you had no, a man. No. 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 Let's call him a spade true. a spade. Uh, well, let me move on to something else. Yeah. Move on to something else. You mentioned him and his props. Taylor, you mentioned on Instagram Live. He said at home that George has been saying a lot of things about you. So you were suing him. He put that together last night. Girl, that girl are can't you, sue me for no definition how is of character. The, how is I lawsuit? said Dizzy Dora Ho, and that's a fact. He Dizzy, he Dora the Explorer, and he has whole tendency. That ain't no oh, lawsuit. Okay. So, so is, there a, me. is there a lawsuit? Okay. No, it ain't no lawsuit. Tell ain't got no money to get no lawyer. So first of all, let me just say Let's this. Let's call that. I did that. not speak on George throughout the season. Girl, okay? you did. On live, you and did. Then, and then here is the thing. Like, every opportunity that he got, as you guys seen on his green screens and throughout the episodes, he would always bring me up. I didn't bring you up. Like, we're not friends, let it go. Like, you are bitter about something. We don't know, know what that is. Girl, you but so at the end clingy. Of the day, at you the so end, damn at the end of clingy. The day, you're still following you, what I do, who I date, where I go. I'm not following and you. And it's Tell obvious. Me. Girl, it's, you just like you're your face. Bitter. You're bitter about you something. You just like your face. You're bitter crazy. about something. Let me just no, you're clear. crazy, let Pastor me just Greenlee. Be, let you're me crazy. Just, Pastor Greenlee. You know what? Get another one. Get another one. I bought a gift. Get another one. I bought a bag of potatoes. Get another one. Since you're built like Beans. a bag of potatoes, get another one. That's Beans. for you. Get another one. Because we're Beans. done. Like let it go. I'm sweetheart. built like a bag of potatoes. Yes, that's you Beans, right let's there. Be. Hey, let it go. Beans, let's be clear. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go, oh, let it go baby. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. You're not friends. These are fresh. Bitch, if I was built like a bag of potato, bitch, you wanted my doctor. You wanted my eye doctor to fix that lazy ass what? eye, bitch. I got the text okay. right here in my phone. Okay. Bitch, you wanted to have work oh, done. You asked me who my doctor was. Pull up. So let's not let's not go there. So if I'm built like a bag of potatoes, pull them bitch, up. Pull it's them a up. nice bag of potatoes yeah, this because bitch you wanted is that it. Bitch. So, so you can sit up. back, bitch, with that bald okay. ass edge oh, and that okay. whack ass makeup, uh -huh. like I said, bitch. Uh -huh. You broke, you mm -hmm. delusional, oh, I'm bitch. Broke. Your credit okay. bag, mm -hmm. your car not in your okay. name, okay. bitch. Your, All that. your okay. husband. You sound awesome, right. Hold on, yeah. let uh -huh. me clear some shit. Go ahead, say So, bitch, since you want to play it with me, because I try not to do that with you. Do it. Why you running around trying to sell this story, bitch? That you left your husband in this, bitch. You got served. Well, bitch, you don't have no credit. Here's the bitch. thing. Your credit is in the trash. Bitch. Since you want to feel my marriage, I don't care nothing and about the that. divorce. I don't care nothing here's about that. Here's a divorce decree that states pass when the facts. I file. Pass the facts. Okay, pass it along down there. I file for divorce first. No, but you well, don't want to sign it. You don't give a fuck what you're talking about, it, right? Yeah, bitch, because so you're talking clear. about me. Let, let's clear it, dumb you're bitch. You're talking about me. While, while you're, you're talking, talking about, about my me. divorce and you're everything else. You're talking about me with your custom jacket. I filed for divorce before my ex husband. He went and filed right after me. Mm -hmm. So the judge picked up his most recent divorce. Yeah, girl. The divorce decree yeah, girl. states So the did you decree. get served or not? It says, this suit is brought to you by your ex. Right. To Telly, who is the respondent. So Thanks. that means that he served you. Right, because his divorce. Girl, shut his, the fuck his, up. You a lie, his, girl. No, no. You a lie. His. You a lie. You a lie. His filing was the most recent. You a lie. His filing was most recent from mine. Girl, you a fraud. It says that Telly is the person named as the respondent. 
You're a fraud. It still stay responsible. Regardless of the matter, it's public record. You're a fraud. Public record. Bitch, you been trying to Why are you speaking about a divorce? Why are you worried? Why are you been trying to play it so pressed? You're not pressed. Why are you concerned about Bitch, you been at home about to jump with the shit going on in the comments about you, bitch. Let's be clear. Taylor, hold on, Taylor. You trying to save face, bitch, but you don't have it. Okay, but listen. Especially not the face. Sure, sure. You're worried about me still, obviously. Nobody fucking worried about you, bitch. You're all over internet. Sure. Why are you here? Hold on. Listen, I knew you guys before all of this, and we were all cool. Because you guys had some great moments together, right. some great memories, is there any way you could think about those memories and see the good in the other person? I and don't remember those memories, no. And that's fine. He don't remember the memories, bitch, and that's okay. But like I said, I'm not never pressed by the bitch who shows up like that. Bitch, shut right. the fuck up. You're not a bitch to sit and talk about. Well, then move the fuck on. I don't have, why, I have done that, bitch. We had a reunion. My name up. We had a reunion. No, I'm not talking about before stupid the reunion. Bitch. No, you're the stupid ass bitch, yeah, okay? Sure I so, am. I'll right. be that. Right, but I bet you won't do nothing outside. Okay, exactly. Shut the fuck up. Girl, okay. Taylor, you ain't, bitch. Shut I don't fuck up. I don't protect your stupid ass up. so many Taylor, times. George, right. George, right. What the fuck you gonna right. do to me outside? Bitch, roll your ass to stupid a casket, ass, bitch. Shut the fuck up, okay? Uh, you gonna do what? Shut the fuck you up. You gonna do what? You gonna do what? George. Because the difference between me, bitch, George. let's be clear, bitch, you manage a HOA. You, not even, you don't even sell houses. So while you're talking about all I do is sell houses, I am oh. actually a broker, too. Here's my yes. license. Yes. So yes. while you're Why talking about what I do, why you, pass it to Markel. While you're talking about what I do, bitch, go do something else. Jason legit. Dallas will make right. you get that, right? right. No, no, no. So you it's only did that for this reunion, it's bitch, because you couldn't pass the test. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And it's a laminated, Listen. bitch. Show me a real certificate. Does anybody, a real certificate, on. honey. Kelly. Stupid ass. Does anybody else here feel like there's potentially it's your trash. they can reconcile? You know what the fucking problem is. You know for a fact, because you were in the group. Bitch, I'm a lawyer friend, mm. and that shit fucking hurt. Mm. When you... Stay up with a bitch who was going through a very hard time in their life, bitch. And when I got to get up for work, and bitch, I'm on the phone at 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning consoling you, bitch. And then you gonna pull that shit on this show? I want to be very clear. I'm good. Before we filmed that scene, I hadn't talked to that bitch in two months. And then you right. gonna pull me to a side on a fucking show and act like you don't know what the fucking problem is. Bitch, don't play with me. Mm. Because this is my reality, and I'm real about this shit. Mm. I haven't talked to you in two fucking months. Mm. Don't get in front of a camera, bitch, mm. for clout and want to have a conversation. Mm. Keep that same energy. Okay. And that's why I told y'all I didn't want to fan with his ass because I knew his motive and I was not trying to go there with him mm. because he needed it and bitch it's because of me I bitch you sitting there no, you you had false. a season lies, girl lies lies George stop all right so listen we're clearly not going to reconcile on this no we're not so we are going to a, take a y'all we're going to a commercial fuck. we're going to commercial I need to breathe y'all doing the most yeah, no, uh, we'll be commercial. right back to chasing down <sighs> I'm not pressed about shit. I got and then he keep it up, bitch. I'm gonna open his eyes and air his ass out with all the receipts. All the receipts, bitch. And I'm talking about video receipts. So let's play. Let's play. You're so broken, bitch, but I got you. Videos on videos with other fucking niggas, bitch. Let's play. Let's do it. Now I'll pass it to him. Let's step Yes. Look at these ass. Y'all are concerned. Stupid ass, bitch. Uh, bitch, you're stupid. Meet me up. Let's go outside. No, y'all are stupid. 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 No, y'all are st
get my you didn't say it. Pay a bill. Pay a bill. Pay a bill. Pay a bill. Pay my bill. Hey guys, it's me, Bobby Bankrose, and I would like for you to get my new single, Baddies, available on all streaming music platforms. Baddie. Available now. Yeah, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Jet Jeff from Chasing Dallas, and I'm here to talk to you about Duke Empire. Duke Empire has an extensive catalog of lab-grown gems that are a great choice for those who are looking for high-quality, sustainable, affordable, and free from the ethical and environmental concerns associated with mining natural gems. Duke Empire also offers customization of all types, so you name any jewelry, we got you, always providing the best luxury experience. Want to know more? Go ahead and visit the website at dukeempire.com. And don't forget to use the code Chasing Ice for 15% off. That's right, Chasing Ice for 15% off. Follow them on Instagram at Duke underscore Empire for the latest news, promotions, events, and more. Anyway, I'm out. It's Jet Jeff. Yeah! And welcome back to the Chasing Dallas Season 4 reunion. Now we have Miss Kiki with us. How are you doing? Hi. You look good. Thank you. you got your legs out. Yeah. Low oil. Low body. All right, body. <laughs> so how you been? I've been good. You know, traveling around the world. How's the kids? The kids are cute. Um, okay. Last week. So now it's summertime. Oh, so now you get to be hot girl summer. Bingo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good. First part was very explosive. We have so much more to get into. When these two met, it seems like they had potential on being good friends. However, one's fashions did not meet up to the standards to this little ass section. Let's take a look back at this roller coaster ride between DeAndre and Keisha. I actually did invite somebody. He is a fashion blogger. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Sean from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm an up and coming fashion blogger. So, were you doing blogs in Atlanta? Or here. I always like did like little like lives and everything. Who, who is this? What's, What's up, Dallas? I'm DeAndre, straight from Atlanta. I've always wanted to come to Texas for one. The main thing is the lounge. I really want you to meet one of my friends. He invited me to this party that Robert Ray is having. Okay. I didn't expect Jet Jeff and Sean to get in like us fast. He was giving me a Bitch, have you seen your size? Trash. Bitch, you look like a toothpick and you still raggedy. The fuck you giving Janet Jackson and you still not delivering with that white outside your motherfucking hairline. Girl, Check bye. your weight, man. Bitch, it's okay. my weight is up like Check my pocket. Weight. Beijing. Ooh, that was hard to miss. I heard that you been plotting a storyline with Dre the whole time. If you gonna bring all of that extra and your plus ones to a scene that I'm in, just don't invite me. Why would you allow yourself to come out of character at your event? If you have a scene where you want to be belligerent and at the fool, don't invite everybody else to it. You're in all these labels and you still look a mess. And you look a mess. Look and at your body. Go get it done. Keyshawn Barney Soros is the last fucking person who should be talking about anybody's body. You and your nigga. Okay. He has a gun loud. It's, it's okay. His it's stomach okay. hangs over his motherfucking it's okay. stomach. It does. It does. Big bitch. It does. Okay. Oh, okay. It's you big bitch. It ain't, but he calling for me. Mm -mm. So I'm gonna answer, okay? He late, I know. You late, ho. No, you late. Holy I stole the money on you right now. In this little ass six. Yeah. Dick you, right? Yeah, it's Bartel, old ass, bad ass. Where I'm gonna come here, I'll slap a bitch. When you go low, I go low way. Uh -oh. I got kicked out, bitch. You kicked me out your section. You call security because you want a moment, and now you want us to flip the bill. Just as a gorilla would. You're so bad. You're so bad. You're so bad. You're so upset. You're so the fuck upset. You're so upset. They're so upset. Wait. Why are you even over here? Because I'm over here because I'm the show. Because I'm the show. Because I'm the show. Because I'm the show. We have contractual obligations. This is Astro. Fuck 
is you talking about? It's chasing an Astro. You know what you're talking about? You're mad. You're so mad. And I hate that. Yeah, Astro, stop, Astro. Like he's not stop. fucking mad, bro. He mad as fuck. He eat that shit, bro. What the fuck is y'all talking about? You're yeah, mad, bro. Stop trying to talk about me. You're mad, bro, too. Bro, this nigga mad, bro. You're mad, too. Yes, I am. I see. Yes, I am. I see. Because he's upset. You mad, bro. Stop talking about you. Stop playing on our top. That nigga mad. He, he's playing on their top. You jumping in on it. Oh, yeah. Because, 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 because I have the energy, too. Because I have the energy, too. What the fuck is he talking about? Listen. Y'all know I'm big dog around here. Ain't nobody gonna bully me. Child, because we just gonna be staying here. The whole but time that video is playing, he's saying slick shit. It's his scene. It's his moment. It's his moment. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's mad because you didn't have no moment. Your moment is in the same outfit. Baby, I had a whole episode. Please calm down. Astro, to be fair, this scene is about DeAndre and Keyshawn. Move along, please. Wait, time out. I'm good. That's what we're not going to do. At the end of the day, this is about these two. It had nothing to do with you. I know you feel feel how you feel. Let's get there later. Yeah. It's not right now. This is about these two only. So DeAndre, this is a lot to unpack here. We saw that you were in the season, but absent from doing green screens. Right. Can you let us know what happened? So uh, going into it originally, it was cool. It was fun, you know, come in, pop in, stir the pot, you know, whatever. But then when I realized it was not like, I thought we were going to come in, as everybody knows, I actually just came to Dallas when I started filming. So I came in, I'm excited, you know, oh, I'm going to get to meet some new people. We're going to be like, not really friends, but friendly, you know? And so I seen, you know, behind the scenes, people want to stir the pot, but then when it gets out, then they want to say, oh, no, I have nothing to do with that. That made me start looking at people wrong, talking about Trey. So when it came to me and Keyshawn, I thought me and Keyshawn originally was going to be cool at Robert's um, September to Remember party. I complimented him even though he looked like he was a, a garbage worker. In Balenciaga. Girl, they weren't real. Balenciaga. So anyway, I'm talking. Let me call my Balenciaga real. Oh, nobody cares. So we were, I, I'm like, okay, we cool or whatever. And then I noticed once me and Kesey got into it, he was taking the moment. It, it was because I, I can't speak for nobody. But for me looking out, it looked like they were all grouped up. And so who do you, like, would you be on? A single person side or would you be a part of the group? My problem with this cast is that nobody, I ain't gonna say nobody, it's a few people who are individuals, but the majority of the people who were not individuals were all a part of one clique. Mm -hmm. And then the people who were not a part of the clique, they wanted to outcast. Yep. So I was over it. I agree. So you want to act like you're a big boss? I gave you your moment to be big boss and I left. So Keyshawn, to be fair, it looked like the drama between you and DeAndre came out of nowhere. The issue, the issue was really with Tedley and DeAndre, but you spoke up about it. Why did you do that? Um, with my personality, I believe that, you know, I'm going to just be the person to address the elephants in the room. Mm -hmm. And um, originally, it was never about him and the Tedley ordeal. Um, I think I had talked to um, DeAndre when I had came in after the whole altercation with him and Kesey. I was... You know, saying that like, y'all were both dead wrong. And I think he was like, you know, I hear you out, but I ain't trying to hit it. I felt like he wasn't apologetic enough to the entire group because I feel like, you know, we all put our money, our time, efforts. Um, I don't um, flight attend. So I actually have a Monday through Friday, nine through five job career. So I don't just pick and choose my schedule when I want to. So, yeah. DeAndre, do you regret having some plan with Tetley. I heard through the glorious grapevine mm. that you been plotting a storyline with Dre the whole time. No, no. No, I don't. Okay. Because, and, and I'm glad we're talking about receipts, so let's pull them out. I'm sorry I didn't bring a fake Dior bag to show, print everything off. Mm. But from the beginning, breathe freely. Okay, so this is conversation between you and Tetley. So DeAndre says, do you manage retail spaces? Um, I want us to shoot a scene. Taylor says, hey, no, I don't manage retail spaces, but I can try to access one. DeAndre says, okay, if you can, that'd be great. I have a plan for us. Taylor says, okay, perfect. I'll let you know before the week is over. What you trying to do? DeAndre says, well, let's make up, let's make up doing our scene. You'll talk shit at the party. We'll argue. You can throw water on me, only water. Then we can make up again. Marlo and Kenya. And then Taylor hearted both of them. 
And then that's when he said, yes, entertainment. No, no, no. So, but I'm not no, talking no, to you. I'm talking to Markel. I'm talking to Markel. Okay, silent. Anyways. Do your job, man. Anyways. You so, came on this show I, to do a job. I, and I did. You wanted and to be a moment. And, you're, and you got a You wanted to be a moment. I read you oh, no, once. Let, I read you let me twice. Finish. It would let not be a this. price, baby. So, the funniest thing. And Looking I have like a sex worker with them scuffed up shoes, boo. And it's fine. Yours is Scuffed up shoes, boo. You got on scuffed up shoes, boo. My my outfit came from Africa, boo. And your outfit came Came from motherfucking always, Amazon, they never, they, anyway, well, baby. Baby, baby, go, 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 go count my money. You look like a banker. We won't be able to move forward though because it be it, we won't be able to move forward because. Not nothing against nobody, but it's four people attacking one person at once. Who Girl, ain't nobody attacking wait, him. Wait, 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 you have to understand that he attacks four people. I'm understanding it, but he did not talk to you. He was talking to no, them. he did not talk to me. No, so what I'm saying is, and I and I appreciate that, and I appreciate you, you know, defending yourself. But what I'm saying is, how can he? How can we get through anything if there are four people at one time talking to him at once? Even if so, what I'm saying is, even if Trey, you addressed him by yourself. Okay, but there is more than one person addressing him besides Trey. And then when Sean addressed him, they need more than one person addressing him because besides Because it's my Hold on, but so, hey, you, what I got to do Sean, he's supposed to. But what I'm yeah. saying is there are still, this is your segment and his segment. And I hear when he do call somebody else, then they can come in and say what they need to say. But it'd be like well, everybody maybe you need to wait, wait, wait until wait. the EP does what the EP supposed to do instead of trying to tag team people in because it's gonna be a battle royale when you start it's taking it's people in. Yes, baby, baby, baby. Let me get to this point with Tilly. In those yes, messages, Tedley, it looked like you agreed with what he wanted to do. But wait, no. before before he answers, Markel, let me finish my statement because I was interrupted. So everybody comes in and says, oh, DeAndre came and was producing and doing this and doing that. There was multiple moments with multiple people on this cast. Nobody ever was dumb enough like Telly to come out and say it to the group. But there was multiple moments where things was produced. And we, I have those two, but I'm not even going to go there because I send my light tray, even though I feel like he's fake as fuck. So there were, there were yeah, multiple. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Mark. You, want, you wanted not, to be I, with the star of the see, whole franchise. Not, so you wanted to you wanted to have a whole alliance. But, you wanted to build an alliance with this man, saying it just okay, to your friend. You never met this man let, until let, we started. Hold on. DeAndre, can, can we look? I'm wrapping it up. DeAndre, right. Yeah, because he never had his green screen, so. Because I didn't want to do them. Proceed. Anyways, so. When it came out, and then like everybody tried to make it seem like I was the only one that was doing it, so that's why I was taking back. Like, girl, you have no real issue. Your only leg that you have to stand on was having an issue with me for the cameras. Is that me and Ted Lee or orchestrated something together? We all know Ted Lee is a hot, a throw rock, hide your hand type of person. That's just what he is. Mm -hmm. So to take something that Ted Lee says, and then now that's your narrative to have an issue with me every time you see me. Me and Kesey had a whole ass issue. At time after time I seen him, we hugged it out, we, hey, how you doing? It was nothing. So you find a moment, one tiny moment that everybody was doing and tried to do it in front of the camera like, oh, well, I don't like him because it is. Well, I don't like him because he ain't from Atlanta. Oh, I don't like him because he said he got degrees. Oh, I, it was just, it, he had no valid reason. And that's the only thing he could take was tell these little thing and made it into something big. And then after every scene, he wanted to say, oh, Dre, I love you. I don't got no issue with you, Dre. Oh, Dre, we going to be friends. Oh, Dre, that's not real. I can't do the, I told everybody, I can't do the on-screen, off-screen stuff. Did I not? I said, if we're going to be friends, let's be friends. If, if we're not, let's not. So, so, he, so, here, so here's the thing. Uh, hold on, let me, let me clear this up real quick. I apologize to speak, you okay. coming from a place of love because at the end of the day, I didn't want to do that with you. And I felt like the whole, you know, stage stuff, it was very minute. And after that, I swept everything under the rug. Now, if we're going to be crystal clear as this chandelier, this like, nope, right here, baby, when I had a problem with you was when everybody was cordial at the photo shoot. And I'm like, why DeAndre giving off this? You know, I don't want to talk to everybody at the two. I thought we was good. And then this when Je Jeff proceeded to say, well, child, he had something to say. Um, at the Robert event, and I said, what he had to say? Like, what's the what's the problem? And then Je Jeff said, girl, child, I'm going to tell you later on. I said, oh, well, I guess that's why he might be feeling himself. So when we went to Houston, right, and then I came in, and you said about your diss track, and all that, I said, DeAndre, it's cool. Do your, de do your damn thing, man. No, it's all not. good. Baby, it's no, on the, it's, uh, it's right there. I said, if you're going to write a diss track, if you're going to make some money off of it, I said, it's cool. The only problem I had was when you invited us in that tiny ass section and you wanted us to spend a motherfucking grip and crew. Bitch, I party all around the world, baby. I go to Dubai, South Africa, baby, Las Vegas. Wherever you, my man, want me to go, I'm going to go. Because okay. guess what? He got the money and I'm going to keep I'm going. So that's why I was mad because okay. I felt like 
with me and DeAndre. I'm like, why invite us in this space and have us spend money in this event just for what? So you can get a commission off of it? Girl, I'm it. not supplying your pockets, boo. So we have a video question. Yeah. We got a video question. Let's play it. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Angela Roche, and I have a question for DeAndre. I was just wondering, you asked your best friend for $30,000, then you turned around and lied to him about something that was on camera. Did somebody hit you first? I thought somebody had hit me first. Is this what you're giving all your friendships? I didn't know. And I even, <laughs> we talk, and we're just gonna be very candid. Me and you talked afterwards, and then you said, what happened? And right. I said, shit, I thought he, you said, no, you was the one who swung first. I said, damn, I did for real. You was mm -hmm. like, yeah, you did. So am I, Come on now, I have no reason to, bitch, I was in a moment. I was literally battling like I do every time. Three different people, I'm hearing voices over here, voices over there, I don't remember. So, so let's, yeah. let's, let's, uh, we got a question about Crew Lounge. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's been said around that you asked Robert and Kiki to leave early so they won't have to get the bill like this everybody else. Wait, what? what exactly? See, this is, this this is, is the thing that I Well, actually, I thank him because when he kicked me out, I should have just left so I went ahead to pay the bill. The, this is, we want to clear that up. Is that <laughs> Wait, true or not talk, true? And then y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. You're so the good. funniest thing, and I want to address this section too because anybody that was there before the whole cast showed up know that that wasn't the section we were supposed to be in. When I got there after production was already there, remember I said, you were there, and I said, what the fuck is going on with this section? Why are we so small in this in this little tiny ass section? They said this is the only area that you can be in. Remember, they had a problem with us even filming in there. So I didn't know. I didn't control the section. The only thing I knew is I set up for us to be in there. And mm -hmm. everybody having to split the bill, that was on their ass. When I told Keyshawn to leave and Keyshawn came back and he looked at me, he said, you ain't stopping shit. Oh, okay, I'm not stopping shit. You want to talk about how you a boss to keep out the section? You bought it. But everybody's hooping and hollering. The gag of all gags is that they're crumbling, scr scrambling around. Girl, we was find, never scrambling. We was never scrambling, Everybody's baby. Scrambling around we was never to scrambling. The money. And only thing we'll they had to pay for money. was the bottle because I paid for everything else, including her gratuity on the whole thing. So they were left with one bottle. But I covered the section, and I covered the hookah, and I covered everything else that came with it. And you can look at the receipt on it to show it was already paid. But if you knew the manager, so just call up the manager and be let's like, be real. oh, let's what's going on? If you know the manager if i know the manager right because i know a manager of crew in atlanta if i'm gonna say i'm gonna make sure my people scrape right and i said i'm gonna have some i'm gonna make sure i have it or guess what we're not going there we can go somewhere else because i'm not gonna do that because that's six etiquette one-on-one but these girls don't understand it because they're not used to that caliber of a lifestyle let's get very clear on that one so baby if he wanted to he could have just called up the manager but the thing is this the real gag. Baby, the manager don't even know you, oh, baby. Girl. That's the real gag. How do you know the manager? The manager don't know him because one thing I do, I'm a real bitch. I called up crew Monday morning because I know it's the weekend and I know the real manager ain't going to be there on the weekend because they got real jobs. They got real jobs. I don't know the franchise over oh, owner so of Houston, the manager, but I know the man because I called because oh, okay. I called. Manager, so I called and I said, okay. um, what was this that whole ordeal sense. that was going on? And, um, we was in a section. You know I felt manager. like we was being treated, you know, very harshly. And then we had a whole bottle situation where someone said they had a whole section of bottles arrangement made for us. What's going on with that? What and they that? said, baby, when it came down to it, the whole moral of the story was when I talked to the manager, when it comes to it, the manager don't even do the sections. Yeah. Baby, it comes to the whole promoter or whoever doing that night, because you know, who do certain nights, right? So it all comes to the promoter or um the bar manager, stuff like that. And then they the ones that book you on that section, you make a deposit. And then they tell you your minimums and all of that stuff via text. So that's how it is. Can I focus on this? That's how it is. Two things I want to say really fast. Um, let's. Let, I'm going to hold on. If this is his ordeal, he talked to the manager. They say you make a deposit, you do all the stuff. Where my flip? How come I didn't make a deposit? Where my flip? I that, said you made the deposit. I didn't make no to deposit. hold the section. What's the flip? What's the flip? What's the flip? Where my flip? A flip my flip phone. So yeah, it's not true. That's not true. No. Y'all there's a section that was in it. There was no room. For me. There was no room. Hell, how would I was standing up? I got put out of, but I paid. <laughs> Here's a question from Jessica. Keyshawn, how does it feel to know that the audience did not care for you until you got into it with DeAndre, who was someone people who who was on the fence about? It seems like it was a layup. How do you feel about that? Thank you, Jessica, for that question. I feel like, you know, dang, why did it take for me to be, you know, getting into somebody for you to, you know, feel me out? Because if, you know, that whole ordeal never happened, y'all probably would have still, you know, probably they not been feeling no way about me. So do you need to thank DeAndre? No. They don't. 
child it was, it was his is moment. a long ways down the road. You. I what I was doing. You did say that. But at the end of the day, you you if he wants to. I said that it's a couple people that need to be saying thank you for their moments. Baby, I gave, baby, I cleared you in the two moments. I cleared you in two moments. I cleared plenty of people. You never cleared me. The only thing you can say is not wait. And baby, you're a pound off of me. Baby, I'm pound where? I'm pound where? I'm pound where? I knew you was going to say that, boo-boo. But look at me. Even after your life on. We're still standing right next to each other. Oh, my God. Yeah, you look like you. But guess what, though? Like I said, it's couture, boo. It's not. It's been a hobby lobby in my life. And guess what you got on? You got on the uh, funeral man suit, baby. Go ahead. Go ahead and march. Go ahead and march, baby. Because all you're going to do is march. All you're going to do is march. All you're going to do is march. All you're going to do is march, baby. All you're going to do is march. Because that's all you do. That's all you're going to do. DeAndre, real quick. Go flight the cage. Before we delay, move on, Andrew, delay DeAndre, wait, Andrew, wait, delay, DeAndre, wait. Andrew. Where are you with Crew Lounge now? Oh, Audi side conversation. Thank you. Have. So I'm still gonna do a Crew Dallas, but I have investors. Oh, yeah, crew Dallas, investors. Okay. okay. That, that. No, actually, this would be Crew Dallas number four. Thank you. Know your Ooh, research. This should do so much research. Child, you know. child, child. Anyway, baby, you mean the um, DFW region? Anyway, um, I'm doing something different, and I I want to disclose it, but I'm gonna wait. So you, yeah. We're doing something different. Okay. Thank you. Let me hit up Portia who is my honey. Listen, we're gonna move on. You wanna take number? a quick commercial break? Oh, I got and it. And we'll be right back. You better yeah. stop playing. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch, I love to play. You are ready. And, and you know I do. I get in the playground. And I get in the playground. We can go with a sandbox. Anytime. Anytime. Baby, not right now. I have to Don't play with me. I got no control. I told you. But baby, if we get into it right now, don't play. Don't play with me. you don't play with me. Because bitch, you know I'll get down. And you know I will. That's how you get down. Bye. No, because he always do this shit. And I be sick of it. I be trying to spare people. I'm the one that's going to look like the villain, but he always got that motherfucking mouth. Mm. Bitch, you ain't gonna bust shit. You never bust shit. Bitch. I'll bust a nut on your man's face, bitch. Girl, That's what I will bust, bust a nut on. Girl. girl. I can bust my bitch up over me. That little witty watch. Stop. Coming up on the Chasing Dallas Reunion. Dior. You had a really good moment. You had a very beautiful moment turn out for your birthday. And then you felt like you're here alone. Why do you feel like that? I never even said it in the green screen. Because it's, no, it's not a big deal. They so what I'm saying position. is, even right now, where does it come from right now? Bitch, well, you got your first chase of reality check and got your teeth done. Shut hey. the fuck up. Can we continue? Wait a minute. Damn. 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 It's always doing too much. Hey. Jesse, what's going on? Why something got to be going on? Jesse, you forgot I know you, man. You have been acting all secretive, barely returning any of my damn texts. And why does your location say New York? Oh yeah. That's all the sense we need to make. Matter of fact, us being cool is a mistake. Me sitting here listening to you right now, that's a mistake. Something had to happen. Alex. Okay, Oprah. Hey. Me and Tristan separated. I wasn't really getting along with Richmond's fiance. I just needed to get away for a moment. Let the dust settle. Your best, Your best friend, friend Richmond? Richmond? Honestly, it was hard for me to watch. I wasn't expecting to see her kissing on you and hugging on you. I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. Come between their relationship was defending him? They were separated. They were engaged. They were only engaged because your friend felt like he was losing. Welcome back to Chasing Dallas Season 4 Reunion. So far, it's been a lot going on, so I think we need to just decompress and get a little emotional. This season, we got a chance to really dive deep and get personal. There were so many tears, but just enough for us to feel everyone's struggles. Let's take a look. Right now, I'm going through a situation with my oldest daughter. A lot of people don't know that I found out when she was nine that she wasn't biologically mine. To be honest, that shit hurt me like a motherfucker. 
because that's all I got. That's all I had. Like, I've not had my father in my life for the past 26 years. We haven't seen each other in 26 years. So, okay. Mama, why did we move around so much? Like, we moved like fuck. Life growing up with my mama was kind of stressful. How so, many times we get jumped on now? Man, what, like, like seven times? The reason why I joined the gang is because I had to protect myself because a little gay boy like me did not have a lot of protection back then in Memphis. People always noticed that the transition was happening. Hell, before I even noticed. I think life at Morehouse was like so many struggles of people telling me that I don't deserve to be here. Because I honestly thought they were going to write me out of history. Pero me siento mal a veces porque como nunca, como desde seis años, ya six years ago, como te acuerdas? Que le pegaba, mijo. Cuando yo me enteré, yo me puse a llorar. I really let a man put his hands on me. And I think that that's kind of affecting how my, my relationship life, my love life is going. I've been losing a lot of friends because sometimes I've been feeling like I'm alone. I'm the uh, type of person to hold things in and shut myself off, which causes me to be alone, which is like me pushing people away. It's just been a lot for me, like just to even get to this point, to even have an album release party. Having big dreams and still like being shot down by small-minded people from my hometown. Even just do music because it's looked down upon. You know, sometimes you can only do so much to try to save your marriage or relationship. I love your courage of being able to step out of that. Um, I'm gonna be crying. Um, and I'm strong, I, I do not cry. Uh, I do not cry. I, you like, I still feel like I have like missing pieces with like my whole life, like I'm not at peace with me, like nothing I've done. Seeing my, my gay son, you know, I know his problem with his father and when he starts crying and go outside, I feel like I need to go out there and embrace him because I am the gay father. We need genuine support coming from our own community. Instead of tearing everybody down, why not just uplift somebody and their strengths and whatever they're able to show and bring to the table? Because you don't know who they might know or how they can network you in to what they have going on. Y'all look like the damn cheetah girls. Oh. <laughs> hey, I see you guys are already tearing up. Robert, let me start with you. How is your daughter now? I mean, she good. Today she actually going off to print. That's why I put my lugs on, because looking at that video, looking at that moment, it's like, Today we sent her off to prom. So when I leave her, I'll be going to her to see her. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just grateful, man. That's all. I, I don't even want to. I'm just grateful. I hate to hit you again. Can we get an update on your brother? Um, man, he uh, was in a he was in an incident uh, about three weeks ago to where they uh, threw high grease on him while he was asleep. Mm. So he's healing from that or whatever. So I've just been trying to um uh, just uh, it's a process with talking to everybody trying to figure out how they got it in like it's just it's been it's a journey life. yeah so with it, uh, dealing with all of that and then with dealing all of this too it's just it's been a journey man to be well, we appreciate you for staying on child support so you could be with your daughter so she has an actual father there's a lot of people even on your cast who don't even have a dad and you did that yeah and for you to and your brother, you talk to him every day when he calls, and so you, you're his support system. Yeah, I know, okay. I know, I know. I got you, I'm, I'm good. Trey, can we get an update on you and your dad? Um, it's still the same, uh, no updates, um, just going through life. Uh, with my mom and my dad, they definitely have their struggles in life, and now I'm at a place where I have to understand that they were somebody before me, and so now I have to just move accordingly. If they don't want to be a part of my life, and they want to relapse, and they want to have things that serve better than their son, then I guess I got to let them go. Do you think it's possible that your father watches the show? Uh, no. No? No. Okay. Do you want a relationship with him? Now, current, today. Listen, the boy inside me always wants his mom and dad. I think I always want to make them proud. I think I want them to know that I am something in life, that I made something out of myself. Coming from where I come from, you don't make it out. And so I've seen a lot. And so that's why I feel like I push so hard for my dreams because I deserve it. I know there was a lot of um, comments and lives and social media stuff with people kind of like telling you what to do about, you know, don't give up or give up. It's your life. Yeah. If you want to continue to reach out to him because you miss him and you want the relationship, do it. If you don't, then don't. Nothing. Nobody, you have nobody else to answer to but yourself. 
Absolutely. I'm so doing some healing. For you. I'm doing some healing, and it, it's hard when my mom and dad are both in Dallas, and I'm in California. So now the relationship is even more strained. Right. So um, I'm just growing up. I feel like you win some, you lose some. Jet, this was your first time seeing your brother in life. Period. What's the relationship with you and him now? Um, we're really close. Okay. I actually feel like I have an older brother, like I said. So uh, whenever I have an issue or like having issue, boy issues, I call him. And like okay. he's there to come for me. And like I actually have like like this man figure that I can have up next to me. Did he know that you were gay? Yes. He seen my music video on Facebook. Uh, so he know how you get down. Yeah, he know me. Okay. You know, pop in the club every weekend. <laughs> Astro. So there was a lot of conversations about the relationship you have, have with your mom. And I don't think a lot of people understand the dynamic that how you guys communicate. Um, can you just explain why you and her has have that raw communication? My mom had me, um, let's just say I wasn't planned. And, uh, you know, my mom had me very young. So, you know, uh, the dynamic that we have is, you know, a very toxic, healthy situation where we're both healing each other through the process. So, you know, that's why we have that type of communication, that type of banter, because, you know, at the same time as like, you know, that's my mom and I'm her son. You know, we are also friends, you know, because, you know, she had me so young and, you know, I'm also queer and that's a different experience in this reality. So, you know, we had to have that type of relationship to survive each other and to survive the world. That's good. I mean, as long as you have, as long as you guys are comfortable, that's your mom. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. Now, George, you know, this season, um, a lot of people, a lot of the cast don't have their father in their life. Your, your father passed away a few years ago. How are you still dealing with that? You, I'll give you a second. I move on. DeAndre, you mentioned um, on the show that your father had so took some money from you. How is your relationship with him now? We only talk to the courts. So there's a legal situation? It is. Do you want to reconcile? I feel like a person who does that to you, you and every family, so I'm good where we are. Okay. Well, I, I can only wish the best, you know, on, on that situation. Dior? You had a really good mo you had a very beautiful moment turn out for your birthday. And your sister was there, you were speaking to her, and then you felt like you're here alone. Why do you feel like that? I think. I always feel like if I do need someone and I reach out to them that someone I need is going to be thrown back in my face. So I just reach out to myself. And how is that working out for you? You also mentioned on the show, uh, well, this season, that no one checks up on you. You always have to check up on them. Does that bother you as well? It used to. I'm immune to it now. I'm used to it. And I want to kind of speak on it. Um, just, uh, I'll take my shades off, big bro. Um, I want to apologize to you as your little brother, you know what I'm saying? Because you are the strength for all of us, you know, um, to be 100 with you. So, to be honest, I don't even look at you being weak. So, that's my fault in not checking out, not checking up on you, not reaching out, not doing all of that. Because you deserve that too, because you do give all of us that, you know what I'm saying? So, when is lacked it feels like damn my big bro not there or my big when you are there it's just that you're there so much you know what i'm saying to where when you're not there it feels as if you're not if you um, you know so i i want to be a man and apologize to you as a little brother and say i would do my part moving forward and um checking on you you know what i'm saying and making sure you're really? good and just doing my part as a big brother and i hope that you can forgive me I for do. um i love you for that that real talk this is beautiful love <laughs> Now, Casey, when you had your EP release party, mm -hmm. your mom and your aunt was there. It seemed like they're your biggest supporters. How does it feel to come from a small town and just like really just have that good family support? It feels good. Um, it's always been my mom, my aunt and my grandma. Mm -hmm. So with them being there, didn't surprise me. Was I grateful that they were there? Yeah. Uh, but it's just always been 
us four plus you know my younger brother my younger cousins but it felt good having them there um it's like coming from where i'm from it's i've always felt like i've been sh shot down right. like and unheard like i feel like my voice really has never mattered so to be on this on this you know screen and doing my shit like it, it feels good and to have my people still support me knowing that i'm gay knowing i'm all of this shit I, I mean, it's it's a good film. I feel like personally, I feel like um, I feel like you needed the show, and the reason why I say that is because just seeing you out, you're quiet, you're shy, you really don't get into all the mess, right? right and I right. feel like the show makes you speak up for yourself, makes you get into the mix, and makes you like speak your voice so people know who you are. So I hope that it continue on for you, so you you're able to really convey how you're feeling, so you can always elevate. Yeah, I always put myself in like tough spots to where I have to speak up because right. it's something that I want to work on. So that's the, my, my main reason for joining is to put myself out there and stop being scared. But, okay. Londine, yes, you mentioned that your father's a pastor. You went to his church and you was shocked of how people viewed him. Have you spoke to him since? I talked to him. Okay, how was that? Um, we talked here and there. Um, I feel like my dad doesn't know how to show up for me. He um, doesn't know how to show up for you? No. How do you want him to show up for you? Uh, the same way he shows up for the rest of the world. Um, present. Mm -hmm. Active. Um, I've been going through some difficult things lately, and I reached out to him, and I assumed that he would show up. And it was kind of like two days later, I would get a message that saying a prayer. But anytime that me and him are connecting, it's either about god and my spiritual life and how i'm in ministry as well so like even being on here is just different because getting different energies and all that stuff it's on a different level for me and i'm not used to being in environments where um all that is coming and i have to i just can walk i can't just walk away from this it's right. there and that's why i was able to relate with trey because it hit me like my dad has multiple children. I'm the first one, and he's never been present. I watched him live in another state and drive up. I drive by the park. I see my brother, and I see my dad. They're out there playing basketball. I don't even know he in the town. And mm. it that happened consistently, but me finding God at a younger age helped me grow and helped me become the man I am. So, like Trey said, you know, that child in me still wants, that seven-year-old me, that five-year-old me, that... 10 year old me wants to build that relationship and heal that that boy so i can continue being a great man because i feel like all of us when we have things that we don't realize that we're struggling with right it comes up in different ways like even on the show right now we have to activate those things that we feel like we got through or we didn't get through we have to work through that in the moment and sometimes it's difficult and i'm going to continue trying to bridge that gap even though I know he has the tools to do it, I'm gonna do what I need to do. Okay. Kiki, so, you know, coming from Morehouse, still having to put on bow ties and, you know, you're trying to transition. And then you became the woman who you are. Moving back to Dallas and becoming a teacher, was there a struggle for you transitioning to decide who you wanted to be? Was, like, was there any issues with the, the students or the districts or anything? Did you have any, like, struggles with that? Um, I would say graduating, I remember um, graduating in 2019, I told myself that morning, you're going to wake up and you're going to be at the top in drag. So I remember walking across the stage in full drag and being like, oh, I accomplished this, you know, it was a great feeling. Coming not only to come back to um, Dallas and have to realize that my principal was like, listen, um, I knew you as the male figure, so I wanted you to present yourself as a male figure. So uh, me being a person who needed the money, I tried it. Mm. I was trying my best trying to, you know, even, <clears throat> excuse me, incorporate like a, a, a fine line between both looks, long hair, bow tie, you know, things of that nature. And I really feel like it just like beaded me on the inside because I remember moments crying, going to work, leaving my man house as the woman, but pulling wigs off onto the morning, going to work, ripping eyelashes off. And then to the point where I didn't even like how I looked at work. I wouldn't take a picture or anything. And I think that was a big moment for me. To how know. long did you do that for? 
until the pandemic actually that's a long time yeah people. once march came or like we went to summer or spring break i remember realizing we weren't coming back i said okay where's the pills where's the shots you know i'm gonna go ahead and do what i need to do i even thought that i was gonna have to quit jobs because mentally people were just telling me that you can't be a teacher while right. trans, you know and i just was like no i have to i gotta put myself first and we appreciate that. Thank you. Keyshawn, you mentioned you came from the bottom to the top. You were sleeping on floors. You was like really living at the bottom. How does it feel now to just see yourself in a whole different light? Like you made it. Um, well, well, I haven't made it yet. I'm, I just thank God each and every day for, you know, bringing in multitude of blessings for me. And definitely coming from Atlanta, I grew up on the west side of Atlanta in the bluff. Not snow, but definitely the bluff where it was super bluff. rough. And, you know, just being amongst all of these people, they we all come from so many different walks of life. And I just ooze with emotions because it's like we have so many remarkable stories. And to know that we all came, overcame that, I think, you know, it triumphs everything, all the bickering, all the cattiness. And even with myself, it's like, when I look back and reflect on things that I did to, you know, the castmates and to myself, it's like, you know, a part of my spirit, it, it's just, it makes me feel icky. And I always, you know, learning as I'm, you know, being a young adult, I feel like it's opportunities to learn and grow. And just being on this platform, it allowed me to look back at myself and the things that I did like within myself and just ignite that change within me so I can be a better me, regardless Absolutely. whether I'm on TV. Thank you for that. Taylor, have you officially healed from the from the divorce? Absolutely. I was healed while I was going through it, honestly. Um, I think sometimes you check out of a situation when you know the results of it, you know the ending of it. Right. And so no one on this cast can ever speak upon what I've been through because I walked through this journey. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm glad that I was able to get through it, um, fail friendships and all. I'm good. God is good. And I'm living to be happy for myself right now. Well, I am proud of all of you guys for being vulnerable, telling your stories. We're we'll, we'll gonna go ahead and take a commercial break and we'll be right back. Me is about black people coming together and uniting and just sharing love. Got it. Tell me how you get down. I'm not trying to play around. Tell me how you get down. Tell me how you get down. Tell me how you get down. I'm not trying to play around. Not something that you can create. Just free your mind, don't hesitate. Is it me? Be true. You wanna freak what you got it. You wanna freak what you got it. I'm a Jones bitch. Got it. I'm a Jones bitch. Got it. I'm a Jones bitch. All right, you guys, welcome back to the reunion. Hopefully we can kind of calm down just a little bit. Um, I'm just playing. Next. <laughs> From it's going down in the DMs, Jet Jeff thinking that Londi is one of Taylor's mini men. Let's take a look to see exactly what happened. What's up, y'all? Now, what's it gonna be? Now, who's on your line with your homie, Lon D? It's this group of friends that I've been hanging around with. They all a little wild. I wanted I'm to gonna... ask, Lon D not here right now, but I wanted to ask him, why do he keep interjecting himself and everybody did? Ooh! Take that shit up! I'm sorry, playing shit! We too pro. I'm not trying to hear none of that. We not having one! So you thought, you really thought he was gonna have some going? Yeah. Because more than one occasion, like when it was oh. Kiki's ball. Mm -hmm. No, but like it was Kiki's ball, like he, he, you said, oh, I'm waiting for receipts. receipts. I'm waiting for yeah, Lonnie. I love receipts to deliver. <laughs> Look, we are very loyal to each other. We have a history and we're invested in that history. Get over it. Sean and I, maybe Lonnie was talking. Y'all gotta speak on that history, bro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I want clarification. <laughs> I'm peeping. Why, why was it so important to bring up that I DM'd you like years ago? So, it, to bring it, that up again, it, you know? exactly. And I did bring that up. And I even said, when I was talking about it, I said, I don't feel that that's relevant to bring up because that's old. <laughs> but before you told me your reasoning, in my head, I said, well, it's either 
you upset that I'm talking to somebody else and not you? That you started a rumor? Oh, please. Like, for Londi to think that I'm upset because he's talking to Tedley and I mean, like, I doubt, like I said, that was five years ago, baby. You can help Tedley get through his divorce, but I'm good over here. You can keep that over there. I'm definitely not upset. All right. <laughs> Jay Jeff, Londi, Tedley. Who slid and who's DM first? I've already said I've slid in Londi's DMs first. Okay. What did he say in response? Um, we were at a pool party um, like years ago, and I just, you know, we were at the pool. I found Londi attractive. I mean, he's an attractive guy. Okay. And I, I decided, it's like, hey, what are you doing after the pool? We were with a group of friends. It was just me and him. Okay. So um, we, we exchanged DMs. He was like, okay, this is my apartment number. So we ended up, you know, going to the apartment. Oh, you know, yeah. in his apartment? Not just me, though. Oh. It wasn't just me. It was like a group of friends. <laughs> Mutual friends. We, we knew each other. We just went there to just hang out. What, well, you, well, Jack, we know you're a little spicy bringing different gifts and stuff. So what happened in the apartment <laughs> after y'all shut the door? No, there was friends there, so we were drinking. Okay. So, you know, I was still trying to kind of find, feel Longy out. I don't know if he was gay. I don't know if he was straight. Because, you Girl. know. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Yeah. Listen, I, cause I thought he was trying to play with this white girl that was there, but that, that's neither here or there. I, that, I was trying to figure him out, and that's where it, that's where it went. Never went anywhere else. Is this accurate? No. <gasps> Ooh. So I, mean, we, I don't know what else we, happened. We did meet at the pool, which was my apartment. Uh huh. He never came to my apartment, so that's not true. Um, they did. He did invite me across the hall. It, they literally was across the hall from me, like my door, their door, right there. So he hit me up. We all was kicking it at the pool, drinking at the pool, and I went over there. Okay. Because they invited me over to them. Mm -hmm. Same thing. I mean, we went to an apartment. But, but you didn't come to my apartment. Okay, well, my mistake. And it, it was wasn't an apartment. It, okay. Semantics. Yeah, but, but I mean, it is. The facts are the facts. Like you say, it's a semantics, exactly. but the facts are the facts. He's saying it was five years ago, but that was in 2020 when that originally happened. And then in 2021, he was years. saying, and then he was saying that he wanted to taste me. So it's oh. just like I said, I wanted to taste you. I got the things oh, to prove it. If you want to see, well, it. you know, if I did it was at that time, like I said, it was years but, ago. So what I'm saying is, you said it was five years ago, like it was so long ago. Like, but it was oh, years happen. ago. But so why just, are you bringing that up now? So when did we? Year? When did we start filming? What Last year, year? What year did we start? What year 20, are we in right 2022. now? 2022. Okay, so that is not five years from that. So then that would be two years. That would be one What's year. That okay, would be so one year. <laughs> so if you, no, two and twenty. You said twenty twenty. And twenty twenty one. You said you wanted to taste me. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. You just said twenty twenty. No, I so he, he wanted to taste me. I just liked it and kept it moving. So it's it. So I never my, my, else to me. my thing is there was he did flirt amongst those times and I would like it and whatever it was. It ain't go beyond that, but I, what I don't like, I didn't understand is you're creating something that's not real. If you don't have any facts or nothing to solidify what you're saying, then it, I don't understand. Are you speaking about the DMs or between you and Tedley? Me and Tedley, because you're saying that me and Tedley have something. There has never been anything between me and Tedley. Well, Tedley's green screen said y'all had history. No, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, the history is a friendship. No, history is a friendship. Let me clarify that. Because you didn't clarify history, it in the green screen. And I did, and I should have been. But yeah, Londi yeah, and I know that there's nothing. I know his dude. We have a great relationship. Like, I respect that. He respects what I have going on. We're just friends. I mean, that's that. But so how it, am I it, starting it, a rumor it, if I asked him? That's not me still, starting a rumor. I started you, with the, with the person. Him, when you asked him, he told you what it was. Right. But you not only asked him, you took it to other places. Because there no. was a scene where y'all were in the bathroom at, I think it was Astro's event, and mm -hmm. you brought it up to somebody thing. else. No, I and, brought it up no, to wait, him. No, wait, listen to me. It was beyond him. You said it to more than one person. And that's my thing when it comes well, to the, I to you know. everybody. Because Ooh, more, but let's name him. Let's name him. More than one person. Trey had brought it to me. Uh, Keyshawn because he was there when me. I asked him. Minute, he was outside when I asked so, him. But you're telling it was so more than, my fault. It was more, it was more than outside, baby. That you no, asked that you just question. said the rumor was spread. I asked Tedley. Is it my responsible for them to spread a rumor? But am I responsible for this rumor? Tedley more than one. What was Tedley's response when you asked about him? And he said no. Exactly. So when y'all, so recently you guys were on social media and you said it that Taylor said that y'all kiss, they kiss. I heard that y'all kiss or whatever. You but said Taylor in history. You said Tedley told you. You that said that I told kiss. you that in I, that I, live. I heard not No, you made that up. Said, I didn't make that up. I didn't hear it. Why would I just say something? Just, just like, like you made up. Just like you made up that we were together or we had something going. Right. Because because but we, you just said that we were in the apartment. Maybe not your apartment, but we were in the apartment. What are you talking about? 
Did you just not say we were talking about Tedley that. right now? You talking about me and you? No, I'm not. I'm talking about Tedley. Okay. You made up a rumor about me and Tedley. Okay. From the jump, you right. spread that around the group. I did not spread it. I you spread was it there. around the group. Spreading is you me going behind the group. You're back Period. And talking you to spread them. it. And what I don't understand is it was false. You didn't have really? any evidence to believe that. I did have evidence. So, like I kicked so, you ball when y'all were he was waiting for you. That's, that's me that's putting my pieces that's together. That's You're here. Not, I'm just not getting to know you guys. So if I, I have a I, thought, I, I'm going to say it. times where I walked Kiki out by herself and things. I've talked to Dior. I've talked to Trey. It's, but it wasn't that type of thing of where, where you're no, going to get a ride. You made an assumption. But it's, it's like, why are you, you mad? If you were to continue asking you, Kiki and Dior, you're they're 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 after Kiki, they just told you that you're not ready. So if we're going to bring that up. So it's the not, same thing, so though. No, it's not. So it's now, it's, now you want to talk. Wait a minute. Well, that's not the next question. Because he asked he asked about something else. So now we can we can roll into that. So Lonnie, for you, why why is it a problem for people to bring up you and Tetley, but when you bring up Kesey and Dior, it's, it's, a, it's an issue? I'm glad that you asked that question. What's the answer? I'm so glad that you asked that question because it's not the same. It, that was an assumption. Dior, that was an assumption. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Dior, I mean, not Dior, because not Dior. This Kesey, there was a clip where Astro asked Kesey that they have something going and he said, yeah, I mean, yeah. But okay, but be honest. Is there a little banter going? A little banter, a little flirting. What's going? What's like? Is it a little something? Uh, you know, so, 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 okay, so there's something. You know, period. There's something. There's, something. there's something. It's a little something. And I wasn't even there at that time when that was said. So it, when I came into the group, that has been told to me by multiple people in the group. Not, I didn't care about it. That's not my business. But it kept coming to me again and again and again. So and you're taking what somebody's had. word. Just no, like how I took somebody's word no, and I'm I agree with it. So did you? Same did thing. you? No, I'm taking the person that it came from. The person who's involved in the situation. That's between Uno and Dose. Those two people. So if he says that they had something going, then that's what it is. So when he told you there's nothing. Why continue to go to Houston he and had pick already, it up again? Because he had already said it. You can't double back no, and then say no. you went to Houston no. and you asked it again. I, I, I did not go to Houston and ask anything you again. You actually brought it up at the table because you were being messy you, like you already are. Yeah, you, as soon as I sat down at the because table, you asked that question. what you were talking about them. But you, you just act, you can say, I brought it up. Get your facts together. Just do the facts. I have the Y'all go off How is a like, rumor like you me just going said. to the stores? It's, a rumor is me, hey, Trey, I heard this going on. No, you did. That's what you did. That's what you did, baby. That's what you did. Baby. When? Trey, did, did he not give that? Wait a minute, wait a minute, Trey. Did he not give that to you that me and right. Tedley was talking in front of Tedley? In front of Tedley. Thank you. And outside of them, has there not been? So y'all are saying that Jet Jeff only said that me and Tedley was talking in, in front, front of Tedley. Yes. yes. No. When yes. there was a restroom break with somebody, and it's a clip. When and Astro. It was Astro and these. Two, it was I these brought two. up that I don't know. Okay. What, so you, the what you just said, but what you, but what you just, but it was something about us too. Hold on. So there's a question from Keisha for Londi. The question is, Londi, you are always yelling like you are someone's father. Is it because you can't express yourself properly? Is, and, and is that why you call Keyshawn a bitch? No. Um, I can't express myself. Actually, I'm very intelligent. And I got the degrees that everybody always talk about. They have, I have it. I can communicate very well, so, so how does I don't it feel understand that. when everybody says you're always yelling? Does, does um, that bother you? It, does it bother me? Yeah. It does because how it's cut and how it's clipped is as if I'm only yelling. But even at Trey's event, and it hurt me to hear even Trey say that um, I wasn't taken up because Trey was on the floor about like when they got in a fight and I was taken up for Trey because it was his event. Mm -hmm. I was only talking about Trey. This is Trey's home. Why would y'all disrespect Trey? So when I heard Trey say the stuff he was saying, I'm like, damn, I took up for Trey. I seen how Trey responded to the fight. I seen Tedley. I seen Kiki in the corner. I see people distraught. So I addressed the whole group and how it was positioned as if I was only talking to Astro. The only problem I had with you is the yelling. It was like you were yelling to try to get everybody else to calm down, but it's like, well, damn, you yelling too. So if they hear your ass, then what's Didn't the problem? Say that then? No, well, no, but I'm talking to I'm talking to Lundy, right? We both were. Okay, but I wasn't. I was talking to Lundy. We both were. But I had the floor. Mm, no, you don't. They had the floor, and you answer sick. He answers my name anyway. Like I was saying, I only had a problem. I only had a problem. Am I right? I only had a okay. problem with you when you were doing the yelling amongst everybody else yelling. If you would have said it more calmly, then it would have been fine with me because you were taking up for me. But I was like, oh shit, he yelling. They gonna hear him yelling as well. So you calm down too. But I've, I've never heard, this is the first time I'm hearing you say that's this. That's about a reunion. That's the reunion. I've had, this is the first time I've heard you say anything about me yelling. You yeah. never told me anything about me yelling. You didn't even tell me you had a problem with me yelling. In that moment, 
you were yelling too because you fell on the floor. It's it was my home. So, what, what, so does that mean that you can yell? Yeah. Because it's I your home. I pay bills home. here. I pay bills here. No one's gonna give me no money for the bills. But I didn't say you couldn't yell. Okay, but all but I'm saying I'm is you every you more, more than what you never right? told me that. Though. I'm not. I'm not. But I'm saying it now. But I, you just said it. I'm you just said you, that I, I couldn't yell, but you could because it yeah, was your it's home. Yeah, it's my home. So if I feel like raising my voice to get y'all to calm down, I can But someone who doesn't pay bills will not be yelling in my home. But how does that make sense, Trey? Because it's my home. It doesn't. Because it's my home. If I want to, if I want to yell to get my own self kicked out, I think he was yelling to try to calm down. It doesn't matter. He will. It doesn't matter. Well, because he it wants to make it well, well, No, because they got to make it right for them. You're yelling you're to make it right for you. They got to make it right for you. That's what he's been doing this whole time. It's my home. It's my home. You're not going to answer to the... You got to make it right Okay, but anyway, anyway. It's still being said. It's still being said. Because it's still because it's here. I'm talking. Hold on. I'm talking. They're going to listen. I'm talking. And the camera's going to pick it up. So like I said, it was a problem for him yelling. It wasn't a problem for me because it was my home. But we all don't have to talk. You got to be yelling. You should be yelling. It's yours. You should be yelling. I can do what I want to do. Great. Just like you just said, you can do what you want to do. Just not in my home. It wasn't your home, actually. It wasn't your home, actually. It wasn't your home, actually. I'm good. Give me a moment. But I'm looking right here. It wasn't your home, actually. I know, but I'm right here. It wasn't your home. Lon, D, wait. It wasn't your home. The title of D says mine. It wasn't your home. Mine. It wasn't. Mine. If we're being real, that's not where you live. That's not where you reside. That's not where you reside. Mine. That's not where you reside. But guess what? It's I a permit company. It's not where it's he where I pay my okay. bills. It's so listen, so I, did it I will that. say this. I will say this in this moment. I do think it's a double standard. It, it's always that it, wait, wait, wait. Y'all done talked and long winded. It's a double standard mm -hmm. when DeAndre is trying to speak and all of you guys jump on him. That's fine. I didn't say and then when, it. It, huh? I didn't say nothing about it. I was standing here saying it's mine. So I don't have a problem here, but they come at me. I'm so much. I get it. Hold on. There let's was a double standard. Let's with just get it, back to what we're here for. Uh, Jeff, Jeff, where do you and Londi stand now? I don't have any it's real issues with him. It was just like I just wanted to figure out if they were dating. Y'all answered it. That's it. It's dead. Are right? you good? Are you good with him? Y'all good? All right. So we're gonna move on from that. It's so fucking double standard. It's always that like a, always them versus them. Good. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want it to be anybody versus anybody. I've always respected this man right here. And, and I've he, always talked to has, you. And he has I'm never, talking to you. I've never and, said nobody and, to nobody what I'm saying saying stuff. What I'm, I'm talking to you. Trey, I gave you my point. Me and you have ne you have not told me. I gave me. you my point. Oh. I didn't have to. <laughs> I was. I didn't have to do it and say, you know what, I feel like it was okay. But I'm saying, you never even said it. You never even said it in the green screen. Because it's no big. It's not a big deal. So what I'm saying is, even right now, where does it come from right now? Yeah. Because I, this how I feel. I mean, in the moment? Like, yeah. Or because everybody else said it? No, because I said it. Because you just said that you because told everybody else, and now you're back. I, I, I didn't tell everybody. I didn't tell you that I was going to No, first you said that you. No, what I'm saying is, just now in this moment, Trey. No, wait a minute, though. You just said that you told other people, and then you said, I said, well, who? Then you said, well, no. I only told my boyfriend, so you backtrack. Okay, I told my boyfriend. So, but you before that, that's okay, not what you're saying. Okay, but talk about what I'm saying now. I but told you just said that right it. now. You that's what I don't understand. It. It like was, it's like when I talk about it. when I talk about facts, it's like oh it I want to backtrack or I want to take it back it because was two that's ago. what I don't you understand. You like I said that at oh, the beginning of the show and now I'm saying something different. I said something different steps ago. If somebody cannot clarify themselves in the moment, what is the possibility of having a reunion? I'm clarifying myself. I said something wrong. Keep doing it. Okay, so let me clarify. You are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You should got your first chase of reality check and got your teeth done. Shut hey. the fuck up. No, hey, if I got my teeth done, I'm not going to get it done. Can we continue? Can we continue? Damn. 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 You know what they're doing? You're talking to him and Trey doing the exact same thing. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You're doing the exact same thing. And they're both doing it. So if you're going to speak up, I'm not. I got Trey. I got Trey. Hey, stop!
next time on the Chasing Dallas Reunion. You never had an issue with Casey? I never had an issue okay. with Casey. And you pushed the narrative. Who was coming to fight in my home? Chase America. Those are the facts. He got his ass up to fight and his friend came to jump on Casey. I have never searched for a moment on this show at all. I am the moment. I don't have to search for a moment. I knew y'all was looking for the baddie. I'm here now, so what's up? There was moments where Casey was trying to speak. My whole issue was with my big brother. Trey, you say that they kiss. And then Dior, you said there's no, there's no, um, there's no competition in this room. What's the little something? Same dude. We killing them from Dallas to Georgia. We eating them. One thing was forgotten. This bitch is a baddie. I crush anything that I'm on. Bitch, a little baddie. 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 Bitch, a little baddie.